Hey everyone, I am AK. So second trailer for Venom that was shown to the Comic Con audience came out recently. After a teaser in which there was no sign of Venom, followed by first official trailer and now the second trailer which has whole lot of Venom in it along with other symbiotes. So let's break this trailer down and discuss them shot by shot. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe for awesome nerd stuff like Marvel and DC Universe. Now let's start with the breakdown. I'm Eddie Brock. I'm a reporter. I always seem to find myself questioning something the government may not be looking at. In the opening shot, we see Oakland Bay Bridge. Now, even in the comic book Venom Lethal Protector, on which this movie is actually based off, has Oakland Bay Bridge in the first picture of it. And if I'm not wrong, Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer number one had same sort of opening scene. Looks like directors really like to use this bridge in the opening scenes. Then we see Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, a reporter, digging out some story by visiting some prisoners. Next, the scene of the crash site where the Clinter ship containing symbiotes crash landed. Now, Clinter or Clintar is the planet where these symbiotes actually belong to. After that, we see Carlton Drake, head of the Life Foundation, played by Riz Ahmed, when he first got his hands on the symbiotes. Now, a notable detail if we bring the first trailer into consideration. In the first one, we see two symbiotes, black and blue, or it might be grey. I really can't specify because of the lights as they are locked inside a van. And now in this new trailer, the second trailer, we see this blue and yellow symbiote. Also if you notice, the movement of camera is different than this trailer and I'm pretty sure that there are more than two symbiotes in this scene. Now in the comic book Venom Lethal Protector, the source material of this movie, there were actually five symbiotes excluding Venom. But in the comic, they were actually kids of Venom, named as Agni, Scream, Riot, Lasher and Phage. And the yellow symbiote we see here can be Scream. Moving on. I found something really bad. And I have been... Who said that? Who said that? Taken. Next we see Eddie infiltrating Life Foundation to find out what is going on as he got a lead from one of their own scientists as we saw in the first trailer. I believe she also thinks that whatever Carlton Drake is doing is completely wrong as it's costing human lives. After that Eddie is attacked by a female test subject. My guess is Eddie might have tried to help her. Also she may go on to become Scream the yellow symbiote who in fact is a woman in the comics. But now because of Eddie, she is set free. Then we see Eddie fighting his own symbiote and running away from the Guards of Life Foundation, eating pills, blocking his ears because he can hear Venom, but cannot see him as of now. Then finally his eyes turning black which shows us that Venom is taking over. Moving on. Look around at the world. What do you see? A planet on the brink of collapse. Human beings are disposable by man and symbiote. Combined. This is a new race, a new species. After that, we see Carlton Drake convincing a male test subject to go through the bonding process with another symbiote. And this also gives us a hint what Drake thinks of these symbiotes. To be honest, I see a sign of a pretty good villain here. Over the time, we have seen a lot of villains. But Carlton Drake seems to fall under the category where the villains think everything they are doing is for good and they are right. Whereas nobody else can see and understand their motive. Now the symbiote here seems to be Phage, another one of those five we had in the comics. With little mix of yellow and black. And the host male is clearly suffering badly. But Carlton Drake smiles because he is successful in starting the bonding process. And therefore he can possibly learn more with the scientists keeping close eye on the test. Moving on. What do you want from me? In the next scene, Eddie seems to be in one of the Life Foundation labs where he's being tested after how the symbiote Venom bonded with Eddie. I'm guessing Carlton after going through failed attempts to catch Eddie might have convinced him 
to let him help Eddie. We saw Carlton talking to him in the first trailer as well, where Eddie tells him that you should be extremely afraid of these symbiotes. Next, we see Venom in the mirror reflection talking to Eddie, whereas Eddie is running away from the guards that Carlton has sent. These poor guards don't have any idea that the symbiote has actually bonded with Eddie and what he is now capable of. Moving on. We cannot just hurt people. Then finally Venom comes out to talk to Eddie face to face while Eddie is trying to convince him not to hurt people. In the next shot, Eddie is on the ground with twisted leg and broken bones. I'm guessing his bike actually crashed while trying to get away and then Venom just cured him in seconds. I guess this will be the first time when Venom will completely take over Eddie's body. We also get to see full size Venom for the first time and there's no spider mark on his chest area. Obviously because of no encounter with spider man as of now. While I would love Tom Holland to be a part of this universe but it is not going to happen. Moving on. Now this is a very creepy moment where Venom is talking about human organs as a snacks. While this is creepy but has been taken from the comics itself where Venom enjoys talking like that. Eddie then protects himself and the other people with him in this flat from the gunfire by spreading the symbiote around the glass making it bulletproof. Moving on. That power, it's not completely awful. You have no idea how much you're scaring me right now. Eddie, cooperate. You just might survive. After that, we see flickering digital effect on Eddie's face. Maybe an attempt by Life Foundation to get Venom out of Eddie. After that, another symbiote takes over. Now this can be Lasho, another one of those five symbiotes from the comics. Although Lasho was a little green in color, but this can be Riot as well because it is really difficult to specify from the colors in this trailer. In the next shot, we see another symbiote who has took over a woman. Now this can be Agony, another female symbiote of the five. She grows her limb into a blade and attacks a person. Next we see the police trying to arrest Eddie. He tries to give up, but of course Venom has other plans. Moving on. Guys, you do not want to do this, trust me. Giant leaps will always come at a cost. Next we see Eddie's girlfriend Annie played by Michelle Williams running towards something whereas all the other people, the scientists and the workers at Life Foundation I believe are running opposite to her. So clearly she is worried about Eddie here and this scene tells us that something is going on inside Life Foundation other than bonding these found symbiotes. Then another shot of the female who attacks people around her by throwing spikes from her body. Then we see a symbiote falling into huge burning flames. It is really hard to recognize this one but it looks a lot like Venom. Here we see most probably Riot growing his limbs into huge axes and trying to slay everyone in the room. We did see the scene in the first trailer just that it was without any symbiote. Moving on. After that, Riot tearing Venom of Eddie's body with Carlton Drake as his host. Both of them getting into a huge fight with Eddie and Venom trying to stop something I believe that we'll only find out after watching the movie. Moving on. We will eat both your arms and then both of your legs and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. Now in the end, Venom again being creepy talking about how is he going to eat the sky over here. The scene really made me laugh during the trailer reaction of this Venom trailer that you guys can check out by simply clicking this or clicking the link in the description down below. And I'm sure it creeped the hell out of this guy. But for the trailer's sake, he still managed to ask him What the hell are you? Oh, I have a parasite. Yeah. 
name is Chen. I'm guessing this will be in the later half of the movie where Eddie has adapted to live with Venom. So Venom eating a guy is not a big deal for him. You know, it's his parasite. So that was the trailer breakdown of the second trailer of Venom. Now what do you think how many of the five symbiotes from the comics will we get to see in this movie after Riot being confirmed? And will we get to see Carnage the iconic villain? Mention your thoughts in the comments down below and make sure to subscribe for a lot more nerd and pop culture stuff like this. It really means a lot. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and till the next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.